Hi everyone, Red Shifters here, and we wanted to do a quick tutorial to demonstrate the new features of the Red Whoop Ion. If you notice, the front part of the uh, fuselage is made out of TPU. It is also angle adjustable. Since it's made out of TPU, this uh, element could stretch even to uh, fit the uh, Cadex Firefly, uh, but it's designed for a standard Whoop uh, mullet cam. So let's go ahead and insert a standard camera. Uh, we'll show you what the strap does here. Okay, so once your camera is inserted, you wanna make sure that it's flush to the lip of the mount so that it's not in view. If you notice, we added a little bottom protection here. This little piece here is actually a strap that will go over the entire camera. This material is fairly durable. Uh, you don't have to worry about ripping it, really. All you have to do is stretch it um, past um, the bottom here. And then over the camera, you can do it uh, one side after the other in the below above fashion. So very much like so. All right, so let's talk about how this fits inside the new frame. If you know this, this frame has what we call a clamp, and this is designed to uh, eliminate jello in the frame. The 14 millimeter camera fits very snugly inside this clamp that actually opens up when you insert the camera. Make sure that the red strap is below the clamp when you insert it. It shouldn't go uh, in too hard, but it goes in snug. If you notice, nothing is screwed and this thing is holding itself in place uh, because the clamps press against the camera. Ever so lightly, but just enough to eliminate jello. And there you have it. Once you put all four screws, uh, you then are able to adjust the angle inside the clamp. That's about it as far as the camera mount is concerned. Let's talk about the fitting of the FC. So let's go ahead and input the FC inside the mount. So uh, after you oriented the FC in the correct rotation, pick one side and start. Uh, it's it's pretty standard, but, but not at the same time. So you might notice that these are preventing the FC from going in there. So all you have to do is flex it. And again, don't be afraid with this frame to flex it. Um, the FC would go in there just fine and the frame will flex fairly easily without breaking. That's pretty much it. One more thing we wanted to show is that this uh, TPU mount that, that sits inside our fuselage also fits larger cameras. So in the case of the EOS 2, for example, all you need to do is unscrew the lens, put the mount on the threading and rescrew it and adjust the sharpness. And this strap uh, is again, extremely flexible and it will have no problem reaching the back of the EOS as well.